Hi folks, my name is Robert Gregg. I practice mainly here in Dallas County and Tarrant County as a defense lawyer. Today I'm here to talk to you about what are the, I wouldn't say common defenses, but what defenses you have uh, whenever you do receive uh, a uh, case of driving while intoxicated. Of course, number one defense is that I wasn't driving. Uh, that I have many, many cases where a defendant, my client, will be driving down the road and they'll actually hit something. They'll have a wreck and then they'll get outside their vehicle and they'll actually call the officers or call 911. The officers will show up and then they'll ask them to do some field sobriety tests. Uh, they'll conclude that they believe they're intoxicated. They will actually impound the vehicle or take them to the hospital if they're that injured or, um, and then they'll arrest them. But the issue is they have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that they were actually driving. So if there's no one who actually saw my client drive, that is a reason that, that we bring up to the court and potentially will get your case dismissed immediately because there's got to be someone who actually saw you drive. In that situation, no one ever saw my client drive. So they, he may be intoxicated, but we don't know when he was intoxicated. He could have become intoxicated after he was driving the vehicle. They can't tell what time he was driving the vehicle. So that is one very, very common uh, defense. The other one and the most common is where a officer pulls somebody over for their own safety. That means they didn't have a legal reason to pull them over to stop them. So technically there has to be a, a crime or, or an offense under the traffic code for a officer to stop you. They can stop you just to investigate. Doesn't mean they can arrest you, just to investigate. Once they stop you, of course, the first thing you say is that they had a strong odor of alcohol in your breath, slurred speech, and bloodshot eyes and then it goes downhill from there. But if I can show the court, and I do many times, that the officer did not have a legal reason to stop you, anything after that, the arrest, everything after that has to go away and we will suppress all that evidence. So those are two very common defenses.